Are you broken and hurting? Are you ready to make a change in your life? Then I'm inviting you to New Heart Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. at Park Ridge Community Church. Tonight is a special night in which we will be celebrating Park Ridge's third year anniversary as a ministry. Come join us and be a part of all the fun. You can stay seated too if you want, but it's happy you're all here with us to worship with us. Let's sing together. People are exchanging, sharing how the principles of God work in their life, and they in turn then share with others uh, the things they have found. Recovery group, because I wanted to deal with, I was having to deal with an issue in our family that related with uh, prescription drugs and withdrawals and all that. Was, I'm like, I don't know how to deal with this at all, so I wanted to find something. And I was looking around, and I had one criteria was, well, it has to be Bible believing, and it had to be spirit filled. Anyway, I, but I found the one at Westgate Newhart. I thought, you know, let's, I'll go check that out. So, and Jerry came along uh, when I went down there. But uh, uh, I really was uh, thrilled with what they had to offer because they had a, a way of speaking to people in love. And I thought, man, this is real church. This is what church is about. What we wanted when we started this thing was we wanted to develop this a family. Um, and that's what we have here. It's just wonderful. And um, and just let the Lord minister to you, uh, because through the power of the Holy Spirit and His Word, that's that's how you get healed. Anyway, all right, thank you. Yeah, there's just no question. I'm still struggling a little bit, but uh, Christ is definitely the answer for me. And this, these guys have brought me there. And this church alone is reaching people, and it's incredible. And they make you feel welcome, unconditional love, just like Jesus. The whole thing is just is just wonderful. And I gotta thank Ann and everybody that, that's helped me out here. And uh, yeah, my only chance and my only hope is Jesus. There's no question. I guess uh, my biggest struggle was being alone. And even though I knew of God, I didn't really know God. All I knew was that He loved me. And I think the biggest battle has been just knowing that He's loved, but allowing my heart to let Him love me. And it's not an easy thing to do. But when I'm still and I just give it all to Him, He does. And um, I think I think the thing that means the most to me is knowing that I'm not alone. I have a family, and uh, I remember seeing people who have the ideal perfect family. You know, and they go to church and they go home, and you know, you just kind of sense that they have this, this beautiful life made for them. But then you also know that nothing's perfect. And I remember 
writing a letter to somebody I saw who had that, and I had a dream that night, and God used uh, Joe Alexander, there we go, um, and I just felt the presence of the Lord, and when Joe spoke, I could just feel Jesus in him, and he said that we are family, praise God. And I think that's probably the thing that means the most to me. Um, there's times I, I can push away, and I can close myself off, but it's just the love of God in people is what holds me back. And just knowing no matter what happens, they're there for me, and they're always there to lift me up. Praise um, God. I just want to thank you, Lord, for that. Amen. Amen. Early in the morning. to New Heart Wednesday 6.30. It's time that we start Park Ridge. Come and join dinner with us with live worship and a message. Get spiritually fed and get spiritually nourished by the Holy Spirit. We just want to just welcome everybody. Um, just come as you are and expect change to happen in your life because there's a lot of change going on in this building. It changed my life and, and many others. And, and just, you know, as you welcome the Spirit of the living God into your life, your life will change, but we need to submit, we need to, we need to commit, and admit that we have an issue and we need Jesus, and He's our Holy Savior, and He'll do it for you because He did it for me. So come join us and have some fun.